Are you having trouble figuring out how to create and then combine vocal takes inside of FL Studio? Well, today I'm gonna to be showing you my process for how I record multiple vocal takes and then combine those clips together to form the final vocal take. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button now and turn on the notification bell so you can get alerted whenever I post a new video about music production for songwriters and producers. Now I've been using this method for combining vocals to make a great vocal take on a lot of my recordings lately and I'm excited to help you feel confident in putting together great vocal takes for your records. So let's jump in. So the first thing that we actually need to do is to set up to be able to record audio. So what you'll see is I'm bringing up my mixer window. Um, I'll usually set up one track to record the audio. So in this case, I'm using track 12. I would select the input that I'm using for my microphone. In my case, I'm using input one. I'm just gonna select input two because I'm currently talking into input one. I would set that up, make sure that there is signal coming up in here. And then I'm coming into this section right clicking where this button is at to bring up this menu so that I can name it what I'm getting ready to record. So I'm going back through and I'm recording the verses. So in this part, I'm recording section one. So I name it that and then I set up to record up here, making sure that I'm giving myself a little bit of lead time to get started on that. Making sure also that I muted out the scratch track that I had before. And then I am pressing record, letting it play through, and then stopping it. Feels like the world's against him now. Once a running out of town. Judging by the hostile crowd. And you can see that I did a couple takes for section one and then a couple takes for section two of verse one. And then I did the same thing over here. And now the process is to go back and actually edit these vocals down into a single take. So there's a couple of things that we need to do in order to set this up to edit it correctly. So the first thing that we're gonna do is actually go through and make sure that all of the vocal takes are all routed to the same mixer channel. So I'm gonna come out here to F6 and you'll see that all of these vocal takes are right here. They all say verse one, section one, verse one, section two, verse two, section one, and then verse two, section two. I'm gonna shift and drag down to get all of those so they're all highlighted in green. I'm gonna go back to the mixer and let's just go ahead and pick mixer track, insert 14. I'm gonna press control and L. And all that's gonna do is map every single one of these tracks into that same mixer track to process the same way. So they're all going through the same place. If this is helping you out, go ahead and crunch that like button for this video. So now that we've done that, we're gonna actually have to go in here. You zoom in, I'm using my scroll wheel and then control to shrink it left and right and then using alt to shrink it up and down. And then what we're gonna do is actually go into each one of these, come into channel settings and then change this to a crossfade. Do the same thing for each one of these channels. So now that we have that crossfaded, what that's done for us is as we start shrinking this in or out, you'll see that that little triangle appears here. And what that allows us to do is fade in between clips. And that's gonna be important as we start chopping these things up to get the best takes. So what we're gonna do is audition each of these clips. So what I like to do is to mute out the clips that I'm not gonna be listening to, so I'm just listening to the first one. And then I'll find a pause point for that section, and I'll make sure that I'm just slicing this up in the same spot across each one of these. So I'm doing the same thing here. So now we have these three distinct little sections that are part of this section one. So I'm gonna listen to the first take, just this little small section. I'm gonna move over to the next one and figure out which one I like the best. Feels like the world's against him now. So unmute this one, mute this one. Feels like the world's against him now. And then do the same thing here. Feels like the world's against him now. I like either this one or this one. 
Feels like the world's against him now. Feels like the world's against him now. I think I'm gonna go with this take two on this one. So what we'll do is we'll use T and I'll go through and I'll mute the section, just this clip, since these are all sliced up, this will keep this from playing. Feels like the world's against him now. And now I'm gonna mute out these two and go through the same process over here. What's a running out of town? I'm gonna use either one or three here. What's a running out of town? What's a running out of town? Alright, I think I like that third one for this. So I'm gonna mute this and this. So right now we have this section that we like, and we have this section that we like, and we'll go through and do the same thing on this final piece. Feels like the world's against him now. Wants to run him out of town. Judging by the hostile crowd. And then we'll move on to this other section over here. So now we have our consolidated verse one. So if we look here and we play this from the start, it's gonna play this clip and then this clip and this clip, this clip, this clip, and this clip. Feels like the world's against him now. Wants to run him out of town. Judging by the hostile crowd, everybody sees through all the lies. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna consolidate that down so it's just one vocal track all together. So to do this, we're gonna go out here to this track where everything's playing through. So all those clips are playing through the same channel because we set them up here to all go through the same place. So as we go here, I'm gonna right click on this and I'm going to name this verse one, or Vox, verse one, consolidated. If I could spell, consolidated. So now it's armed for recording. Before we do that, I'm gonna select the section that I want it to. So now we have that section selected. We're gonna press Alt and R. It's gonna bring up this window, and I wanna keep the mode of song selection, leave the remainder on there, keep it with these points you might want to up the quality on that and then go ahead and start it and you'll look up here that verse one consolidated has shown up and so now what we can do is actually mute out the rest of those clips so I'm gonna go back in here I'm gonna deselect everything and then for right now I'm just gonna use that T tool again and undo all these other things. I'm not gonna mute out these channels because I need to do the same thing over here. If you are frustrated with vocal production and you want a cheat sheet that will help you with mixing vocals, then I have a quick start guide that you can download below. And be sure to check out this next video that will help you start mixing the vocal that you just finished recording. And I will see you in the next round.